Hey, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 show. Uh, my name is Nicole Simonin, and I'm so glad you're here today because we are going to be talking about 29 gifts. Not GIFs. <laughs> gifts. G-I-F-T-F. So I've been reading the 29 gifts. It's a book by Cami Walker. And I found this book when I was reading my favorite book by Jen Sincero, which is You Are a Badass. And the 29 gifts book is really about Cami, who just got married and she has been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And Cami is in excruciating pain and incredibly frustrated with the basic the life she has right and the card she's been dealt and she talks to one of her spiritual teachers who suggests that she gives away one gift for 29 days in a row so the rules are super simple each day give thought to what you want to give and you give one gift it can be any type of gift. It can be money. It can be calling a friend. It could be listening to someone. It could be holding a door. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's given freely, meaning you do not expect anything in return. And if you miss a day, this is the other rule, if you miss a day, you have to start over at day one again. So I'm not even done reading this book. And this idea keeps coming to me like, let's do the 29 day gift, ch basically challenge, I guess. And so I am really in on all of this. And so what's gonna happen is each day I am going to give a gift away. The gift could be like a shape it up thing. It could be something random. I don't know, because again, it's like you have to think about it the day of. So who knows what it will be. <laughs> But I'm going to share this with you. So if you want to follow along on this journey with me, you can do so by either getting on my email list, which you just, you just go to shapeitupfitness.com um, slash mistakes if you want, or even if you go to shapeitupfitness.com, the homepage, just um, request the five workout mistakes women over 40 make. It's an ebook. Um, just fill that out and you'll get on the email list, or you can join me on my Facebook group, Women Over 40 Lose Weight, or follow me on any of your favorite social platforms. You can find all the sites that I am on in the links below or in the show notes, okay? So me personally, I love giving gifts. And there's something about picking out a gift for a special person and waiting to see their reaction. And this is also where I think we kind of get tripped up a little bit. So for all those friends enthusiasts, which I am also one of them, do you remember the episode where Phoebe is challenged? I, I don't remember who challenged her, but is challenged to do something nice for someone, but she is not allowed to feel good about what she's done and she can't do it. So, and I think um, women, as women, we naturally tend to want to do or give things to people but what is the driving emotion behind that? Is it societal expectations? Like you're not living up to some womanly standards if you do not give, give, give. Um, and I think this is why like self-care is so talked about nowadays. And because we're talking about weight loss, right? This is a weight loss show. Um, how has giving everything you have to the point that you're, you're not putting yourself first. So I love the analogy and I use it often with my clients is if a, you're on a plane and the plane is going down, you are like frantically putting oxygen masks on everyone else, right? As you're standing there gasping for air, you put your mask on first so you can be the most help to those around you. But this is what women who come to me do. They are gasping for air and trying to be everything to everyone else. Not only will you not make it, but chances are the people around you are not going to be helped at all in the process. So if you are giving freely, not because you have to or you should, you will have this lighter feeling inside of you when you give. It's not like you've just been handed this huge boulder to lug around with you. 
So there is one part, right? The giving of the gifts. And the other part is accepting and or receiving what comes back to you. Now, I 100% believe in karma or whatever you want to call it, the laws of reciprocation, um, cause and effect, it's called so many different things. But what you put out into the world comes back to you. But can you accept what's coming back to you? So let's take compliments. How do you take compliments? That dress looks great on you. You mean this old thing? I've had it for years. Your hair looks great. Really, I thought it looked okay when I left, but then the wind it made it a hot mess. You did not accept it. You deflected the compliment. Now, I used to do this on a regular basis. <laughs> when I was dancing professionally in the ballet company, um, there was one instance I used remember very clearly we had just finished a performance and it was we were at the after party and at the time I was dating a guy who was also in the ballet company and some people came up to us after the show and they were complimenting me on the performance and how they loved it and how it was magical and I said thank you but then began listing all the things that I didn't do right missed that turn the leg wasn't high enough and did you see blah 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 right Shortly after, my boyfriend at the time had pulled me aside and said, why do you negate your compliments? Next time, just say, thank you. And that is it. And he was 100% right. And that has stuck with me for a very long time. And I still have to catch myself every now and then, um, but I own those compliments. So how do you own your compliments? Like, are you like, hell yes, that was an awesome performance. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> of course, my dress is incredible. Yes, I am rocking this hairstyle today, right? How do you show up in the world? What are you giving out into the world about your weight? Don't look at me. I'm not acceptable. Are you hiding because you have extra weight on you right now? Ask yourself why. You are a gift to the world just as you are in this moment. You have something wonderful to give and your weight has absolutely nothing to do with your gift. You can still shine and bring your gifts to the world and still have the desire to be at a smaller size, to be healthier, to be more fit. They can be in the same space. No, Nicole, that's not true. I have to beat myself up in order to get skinny because if I don't hate myself, I will not have the motivation I need to lose weight. I call BS because I've been there repeatedly hating myself in an effort to motivate myself. It does not work for the long term. You do not take care, truly take care of things you hate. So why are you gasping for air and not helping yourself? So for my first day one gift, I want to give you permission to be nice to yourself. Give yourself that gift, the gift of kind words inside your head. Put on your oxygen mask and take a deep breath in and then exhale. There are always two sides giving and receiving, breathing and exhaling. You cannot have one without the other. So I hope you look at yourself as a gift to the world today. There is only one you on this planet. You are a gift. Have a beautiful day and join me tomorrow for day two. Take care.